after you know something about triggers, it's good to know more about logic applications. So in the logic app designer, I'll be able to see the code view as well. But as right now, I'm not having much of the things that are being performed. So here is some of the code that's available to me. Number one, the schema, the actions, the content version, output, parameters, and the triggers which are being performed here. As you go further in this video series, we'll discover what changes are going to happen to code and how we can tweak a bit of code to change our actions performed in logic apps. I'll come back to the designer and this time what I would be simply doing is that I just want to do a very simple thing. I'm not able to just uh, get with a lot of feeds and uh, from different blogs and uh, able to follow them so I just want to maintain a simple sheet maybe a Google sheet maybe a Excel sheet or something like that where I'm able to see every morning that these are the URLs or these are the posts that are available to me so I might be able to go there and visit them or maybe something like that like the title of the post or maybe the description there so that I can read some of the content there and if I like that I can go to the link and just explore it more or else I can leave that so that is some kind of stuff that I want to do and I want to repeat that every day after 12 hours so how do I do that? For that I would simply just go here start with the recurrence and I just want it to happen let's start with one day not 31 but simply by one now every trigger has some simple options that are necessary for it and also it has some advanced options for example if you want to select time zone here and uh, if you even want to have a start time here you can surely have that let's say I just want to start with the next step that okay fine now it's really good that we are recurring that event and we have a trigger now cool now what now the thing that we're gonna do is that we're just going to perform the steps over that trigger once the application is triggered then you have to perform the steps so let's start with the first step number one I need to maybe get the RSS feeds so let's start with RSS and when a feed item is published so now here is a kind of conflict that we are recording that and then we are going to see that when a feed item is published do you think the both of them seems to be a trigger? This is also a trigger when a new item is published. This is also a trigger when uh, the time is uh, around one day and that is completed. So that trigger is performed. So it's always good to have simple triggers that simplify your job. So what I would simply do is that I would delete both of those. Then I would simply just go here and see the RSS and now I would start with this trigger for the I would say simplicity I would just simply go to the verge and the verge.com let you guys know that today is something I would say Oculus Connect going on uh, well, we're not that much interested, interested in that, but here I would simply be able to click subscribe and I'd be able to get the RSS link. Simply, I would simply copy that, go to Logic App Designer, paste it, and uh, what frequency I just want to iterate that. Let's say three minutes for now. Okay, fine, makes sense. Uh, I don't mind it even. And uh, now I want to perform the steps. So I want to perform an action. Uh, I want to just. Uh, 
write all of the stuff that I get in my Excel sheet. So what I'm going to do is that let's say Google sheet and I'll be able to see a lot of things. So Google sheet and search rows. I would need to sign in here and uh, I now would pour I would say portal not kind of portal actually but uh, pop here let me sign in and there you go yeah sure why not I have simply created a sheet with the name of doctors tring 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 there you go worksheet sheet 1 and in the name what I actually want is that the feed title maybe and the contact I'll put uh, the feed summary sorry for this I know it has a lot of times but uh, here the primary feed link and let's save it and there you go we have successfully saved it and now I will simply just go back just go here and uh, I can even simply refresh this or can wait for some time for the trigger to happen and uh, in the next video what we're going to do is we're just going to see some more stuff on this.